What's up? What's up? Uh, I'll <sighs> tell you what's up. Oh, boy. Tell me what's up. We recorded, I would say, one of our top five bonus episodes last night. <laughs> it was fucking great. <laughs> tell you, Ulysses, in my opinion, was the star of the show. Oh, he's going to, you're going to make him cry. <laughs> he, he thinks that you really don't like him. I, I know. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. It was a great episode. It really was. It was, it was super, super fun to record. And it, yeah, it was a banger. So and uh, go check it out. Not only do you get bonus episodes, I'm going to remind you that you get ad free versions of everything over on our Patreon as well. Okay, now let's get on with this shit. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know how this is going to go. I have okay. this, I had a thought pop into my head that I wanted to explore. And I thought, well, maybe we can explore it on the show a little deeper. Okay. And I'm worried that the entire episode is going to be one segment. Okay. Why, why would you be worried about that? Black. <laughs> <laughs> you are on the right track, sir. <laughs> So I, I don't know why, but I went down this rabbit hole of Jim Crow laws. Oh, okay. Do you I, know much about them? No, no, that's funny. Cause I don't, I, I know like people say Jim Crow laws that meant black people were not allowed to do whatever, but I, I don't know who Jim Crow is. Is he the uh, one I, that got murdered? I can tell you. A white woman or something? <laughs> He's a white guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Sounds like a black name. He was uh, one of those white guys that wore blackface. Oh, like but, the performers? Yeah. Huh. Because like they weren't actually called Jim Crow laws, like in the government. Like that's what not what they said at uh, in state court or wherever the fuck they talked about this stuff. <laughs> Night court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but <clears throat> I was wondering if you wanted to go through. Originally, it was going to be some of them. Uh huh. Uh, but I think I've read probably 200 of them by now. Oh, I didn't realize there was that many. I thought it was like just, they say Jim Crow laws. I thought it just meant like that was a general thing for black people bad. I didn't know there was actual Jim Crow laws. Uh, see, what it is, is, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll find this out. Okay, but okay. on the surface, it it's not black people bad. It's black people good. Black people uh. separate but equal. That's okay. where the whole, it, it, that's this, it, it's one and the same with separate but equal. Okay. Huh. When Not we go through I these, you're going to realize that they didn't really think that they were equal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was, it was separate, but unequal, I think. S separate, but a little bit less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about two fists less. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So do you want to, you want to hear about a couple of them? Absolutely, dork. <laughs> that was the sound of the wind coming out of my sails. <laughs> okay, in Alabama, this is from Alabama. All right. It shall be unlawful to conduct a restaurant or other place for the serving of food in the city at which white and colored people are served in the same room unless such white and colored persons are effectually separated by a solid partition extending from the floor upward to a distance of seven feet or higher. And unless a separate entrance from the street is provided for each compartment. Wow. <laughs> so like a smoking section, but like a real smoking section, not like one of those half walls. <laughs> like at least with those, you can come in the same door. Jeez. Does the, so does the I, same I, Go ahead. I was just going to say the black interest has to be at the back or what? I mean, geez. So is there anything about that that makes you think equal? Well, they can both eat at the restaurant. It doesn't say the prices have to be different. Oh, that's it fine. Say, I, you know. I, I'm going to check in with you on a couple of these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so are you okay with this? Uh, no. I don't think so. Let me ask you well, this. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't, yeah. don't, don't fucking soapbox me, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> if there was a restaurant, what's your favorite type of, uh, what's your favorite food? Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If there was an Applebee's or a Cracker Barrel, uh -huh. 
and it it was the only one in your area. Yeah. And it had a white entrance and a colored entrance, and yeah. then partition separating, so you wouldn't have to look at them. Sure. Or I mean, <laughs> you didn't get to see them. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Would you boycott it, or would you go ahead and go? Oh, I'd go. Okay, so you're not that against it. No. No, of course not. I mean, what? So it's it's complicated, just like everything else. <laughs> is it is it set up by law that this has to happen, or is it just like if if you want to do it this way, go ahead? Because I'm okay if you want to do it that way, go ahead. Now, even still, if you want to set up a restaurant that separates colored people from black people and has separate interests, I think you should be allowed to do that. I th- I don't think you should be able be able to, but I think it should be a law, so you have to, if that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yep, makes perfect sense. <laughs> All right. What do we got? What's All right. Answer? Uh, Alabama constitution of 1901 separated schoolhouses for African-Americans, and white people, uh-huh. Arizona, miscegenate, mission, miscegenation, miscegenation, mm-hmm. marriages <laughs> between whites with black people, Indians, black people or Indians were declared illegal and void. Uh-huh. The, the, void. Word descend, <laughs> the word descendants does not appear in the statute. Uh, that, that comes later. The word Mis- descendants, is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a revision in 1864 added the word descendants to the list of the minority group. So <laughs> it went from, you know what? And your kids too, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So they wanted to keep marriage between white people. But black people were allowed to marry black people, right? Uh, so far. Okay, so you're at that seems equal to me. So yeah, but no. <laughs> I, I'm allowed to get married. You're allowed to get married. Yeah, but you're not allowed to marry each other. Right. How long after this was it that for however long you weren't allowed to marry a man if you were a man? That's not equal, right? What's that have to what's that have to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Sounded good. <laughs> Miscegenation revision of the age. <laughs> what was the word again? Sagination. Miscegenation. <laughs> right. Miscarriage. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh School district trustees were given the authority to segregate black students from white children only where there were more than eight Negro pupils in the school district. What? <laughs> awesome. So as long as there was eight, they could put them in their own class? Uh, their that... own school. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of money to build an extra school for eight people. <laughs> eight people that only two of them are going to fucking graduate anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This whole school has a 3% graduation rate. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, In areas where 25 or more black high school students, an election would be called to determine if these pupils should be segregated (laughs) in separate but equal facilities. (laughs) (laughs) They have a special election. (laughs) Holy fucking hell. That's funny, man. So... Is your vote secret? Is it just like president where you pull the little curtain back so everybody doesn't know you're racist? I bet it wasn't or, that secret. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody's they're wearing their shirts and everything. <laughs> huh. Wow. I didn't realize it was so bad for black people. <laughs> Somebody should have done something. <laughs> Marriage of persons of Caucasian blood with Negro, Mongolian, Malay, or Hindu void are void. Native Americans were originally included in an earlier statute, but were deleted by a 1942 amendment. So they let Indians uh, marriage or marry before Negroes and Mongolians. (laughs) (laughs) 
Do you think it was because they were hotter? Like the women were hotter? Do you think that has anything to do with it? No. No, only because I know uh, later on how they are with, how, how they were with Asians. Oh, okay. And I, I have to say Asians are hotter than Indians, right? Uh, yeah, it's a toss up. Yeah, I mean, neither neither one of them is white, so. What Indians do you know that are hot? Like, have, I, don't, have well, I don't know any Indians. Indians. I, I have no, I have no idea. I mean, I, I know what they look like from the movies and stuff, like the cowboy movies, but those are all black and white, so I don't know what they really look like. Yeah, but they just use Mexicans for that. <laughs> huh. All right, California. Oh. <clears throat> In 1850, California statute provided that no black mulatto person or Indian shall be allowed to give evidence in favor of or against a white man. (laughs) (laughs) Really? Keep my name out of your fucking mouth. (laughs) Wow. So they, so so it's written into law. They just assume they're all liars. (laughs) I mean, basically. Well, um, It can hardly be supposed that any legislature would exclude domestic Negroes and Indians and turn loose upon the community the more degraded tribes of the same species who we have nothing in common with. Jeez. That sounds rough. But equal. <laughs> <laughs> but but equal. <laughs> as long as you add in but equal every single time, everything's good. So the word there that stuck out with me was mulatto. Uh huh. Are you familiar with that word? Yeah, it means black and white, like like no, a mixed just person. A, any mixed race. Yeah. So, but what? Any mixed race always means black and white. <laughs> no. Uh, have you ever seen a mixed person that wasn't black and white? Yes, Tiger Woods. He's black and Asian, but he looks black and white. You would never get Asian from Tiger Woods. His eyes. He's got the little slanty eyes. You, you fucking see that from a mile away. <laughs> yeah, but he can't. <laughs> so I, I ended up doing a deep dive on Mulatto. Oh, like, God. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Do you know where the word comes from? I don't. Is it like some kind of mutation? Like a play on mutation? The word was first used about 400 years ago to label children who had one black and one white parent. A mule, of course, is the offspring of a horse and a donkey. Oh. Mulatto. Oh, horse. So are the white people the horses? I, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Huh. All right, that's interesting. What do they call them now? (laughs) <laughs> you almost got me <laughs> slip. I, I'm so fucking tired that I almost just <laughs> God, I set you up for that one. That I mean, is is mulatto still like accepted or no? No, no, that's a slur. Oh. Well that sucks. Everything's a slur. Do they just call them mixed folks now? Mm. I hate the word folks. Why? Because that's social justice speak. No, it's not. I say I've, I've said folks all the time. I know they they stole it from you, and I don't like it. I think it depends how it's used. If if you would hate it or not. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're probably right. When when people say mixed folks, or oh yeah, that's I would never say that. Yeah, that's gay. Yeah, gay. <clears throat> so you want to wrap these up or what? I, I, I can't tell, I can't tell if you're enjoying this or, or... Oh, no, no, no. I I like it. It's interesting. Are you getting bored with it? <laughs> Miscegenation. This is still California. Made it in 1880. Made it illegal for white persons to marry a Negro, mulatto, or Mongolian. I always think Mongolian is the guy, like like a big guy with a fur coat. And a big fur hat, and he's carrying. Uh, that that's a. 
what the fuck is that dude's name? Uh, he was a Mongol. Like that, he was like the leader of the Mongols or whatever. But what the fuck was his J- name? Jackie Gang- Chan. <laughs> yep, Genghis Khan. Yeah, that just the word mongoloid or no mongoloid makes me think of retard. Mongolian <laughs> makes me think of Genghis Khan. Yeah, because I think he was Mongolian, right? Isn't that? I don't. I, you know. You know how much. You know how much I know about history. <laughs> Well, let's find out. Genghis. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he was from Mongolia. Yeah, he's the former Kagan of the Mongol Empire. Cool. Former Kegels. <laughs> so that means that Kegel? I wasn't wrong. In what in the connection in my brain. Oh, good job. Proud good of job, you. I'm, pr- I'm proud of you for that one. Uh, Colorado marriage between Negroes and mulattoes and white persons is absolutely void. Fine between 50 and $550 or imprisonment between three months and two years or both. <laughs> so, so not, not just void, absolutely void. That means it's really void with a ticket, <laughs> right? With a ticket. How, how does that work? Like you, so we got married three years ago. They passed this law. Do you get a ticket like for every day that you're not divorced? How how do you get a ticket for being married? All right. So you've seen enough footage and shit to know what it was like back then, right? Like they always like yelled at the black people or whatever. And they called the white women whores if they dated black guys and all that. Yeah. And like you would really, really like to, or have to love that head game to be seen in public with a black woman. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) They weren't even fat back then. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. But yes, I I mean uh, yeah. What well, okay, can I just a side note. Well, why is it that you can look at a woman and see you can tell that she likes black dudes? Like how how is that? I mean you 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 know that, right? Like you you I have yeah, we we talked about it several times. It's all in how they do their hair. Uh, weird. I don't or know. Or if they wear tracksuits. <laughs> tracksuits or a fucking Tupac shirt. <laughs> <laughs> in Florida, all courtships between a white person and a Negro person, or between a white person and a person of Negro descent to the fourth <laughs> generation, are hereby forever prohibited. <laughs> Fourth generation. I thought you were gonna say to the fourth degree. <laughs> I wait, Negro to the fourth degree. What? So does that mean like you can? What? That doesn't make any sense. How? How are you like? What's the fifth degree? So I have to assume if a a black and a white have a kid, and then that that mix that mulatto and a white has a kid. Yeah. And then that mulatto and white has a kid, and that mulatto and white has a kid. That's oh. four ge- the fourth generation. Oh wow! So, so and it the, said the, courtship, right? So that means if I ask, like, "Hey, would you like to date me?" That's a courtship, right? I mean, like, I'm trying to date somebody. <laughs> you go to the Sadie Hawkins dance with me, <laughs> exactly. So I have to ask you who your grandpa's grandpa's grandpa was, like, to make sure he wasn't black before I like ask you out on a date. Hmm. Weird. How come they're not worried about black women dating white men? Did that happen? <laughs> Separate but equal. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Any black man and white woman, or any white man and or Negro woman who are not married to each other, who shall habitually live in and occupy in the nighttime the same room, <laughs> shall each be punished by imprisonment not exceeding 12 months. Wow. So if you sleep in the same room as a black person, you're going to jail. (laughs) Wow. And now if you sleep in the same room as a black person, you're already in jail. (laughs) (laughs) They just cut out the steps. (laughs) (laughs) Huh? So, okay. Can you, can you go back to who is Jim Crow? Like he was just an actor and how did, how did all this get associated with him? Uh, it, I read it. I didn't obviously fucking retain it because I knew yeah. you were going to ask me this. Yeah. It was one of them stupid actors. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Jim Crow laws. Uh, Jim Crow being a pejorative term for an African-American. 
uh, such laws will remain in fuck. So it just he was a blackface actor and his name got to be a slur for black people, basically. Yeah, happened. Okay. I mean, yeah, if you want to be succinct in your explanation, that would be one way you could do it. I don't want anything to do with succinct. (laughs) Now you you made me lose my spot. Wouldn't it suck to be an actor and you're like a really good actor and then after you've been dead for so long, like they they make these like Kevin Spacey laws or whatever, like what? (laughs) <laughs> like your your name now means gay pedophile. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> like if everybody has a an alarm that goes off on their phone and it's called the Doug Rhodes alarm, <laughs> <laughs> right? Is it the Doug Rhodes alarm telling you which car to look for? <laughs> okay, see, this don't sound as bad. All respectable Negro persons to be sold first-class tickets at the same rate as white passengers and shall be provided a separate car equally as good and provided with the same facilities for comfort as for white persons. Yes, I'm okay with that. What what state is that? Florida. Oh. Huh. Yeah. If you're going to be in the railroad business, you got to treat blacks and whites equal, but separate. Here, here's what I think. And I honestly believe this. I don't believe that the Jim Crow laws, all this uh, separate but equal shit. Uh, I don't think that it went away because of equal rights. Okay. I think it went away because the building costs of everything was so high because you had to make two of everything. Yeah. I, I think that even without the civil rights thing, it would have went away eventually on its own. Because of the cycle of, of business, P- people don't like as the black population grew, more people want the business that you know what I mean? Like it would have just went away. You are but, very you, right. You you couldn't afford. OK, here's here's this one. Uh, this is for railroads, separate waiting rooms for each race to be provided at railroad railroad depots, along with separate ticket windows also called for a separation of the races on streetcars. So that means that you have to have X number of windows, X number of cars, X number of it just inside the train station itself, bathrooms and drinking fountains and like everything all costs are multiplied by the number of races you're going to. So then what if, if you're looking at it from that point of view, what if the actual events that happened were, civil rights had nothing to do with civil rights and were literally being pushed from a business angle and making it look like it was a civil rights thing. And that was just businesses trying to save money. So you think Rosa Parks was a contractor? Is that what you're telling me? I have you ever looked into the story of Rosa Parks, (laughs) but yes, contractor sounds better. (laughs) Oh, The way that that works is the same way it works today. They shop around for the perfect case to bring forward, right? Rosa Parks wasn't just a random person that happened. They shop around for this perfect case that they can put in action and put forward and bring it all the way. Just like those fucking uh, bake the gay cake thing. You know what I mean? Like that wasn't just a random chance thing. That was a very, very planned thing. And so was Rosa Parks. And so was fucking all of it. Rosie the Riveter, all that shit. It was all just <laughs> What planned. the fuck is it between you and Rosie the Riveter? Like, I, I, I want to stop the whole uh, the, the conversation about the Jim Crow laws. We won't do any guest races. We won't do any uh, super chat, no phone calls. Uh, I want to spend what little time I have trying to get to the bottom of why you hate Rosie the Riveter so much. I don't know anything about her. Then why do you hate her so much? Because it's a stupid concept. It's not a stupid. We can do it. <laughs> right. Stupid concept. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it, you stupid woman. <laughs> it's a stupid, stupid concept. It was an ad campaign to convince women that they can do something that they can't do. Stupid. <laughs> no, they. but they did it. Like, in I don't ma- understand. In what- mass, they did it. How many? How many women riveters are there now? But 14. How the fuck am I supposed to know <laughs> right, that? Right. No, because nobody knows it because there's none. 
Yeah, because they don't rivet. It, it, it's fucking robots. Irrelevant. How many women robots that rivet are there? None. <laughs> how many how women many? programmers of robots are there? None. <laughs> How many, how many sex robots are riveters? None. <laughs> it's, uh. it's, it's just an example of how skewed everything is. People think of Rosa Parks as this, like, she just was a nice lady that wanted to sit in the front of the book, but that's not what happened. That's not how it happened at all. She was picked and like they told her what to do. And then they told her where to go to court. That You know what I mean? It was all fake. It was all, the whole thing was a setup. Always. Everything is a setup. Everything from history is always a setup. None of it's real. <laughs> Fuck Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I do know what you were trying to talk about with Rosa Parks. Yeah. Like, I, I do know that she was a plant. She would, like, there was never even a conversation about her on the bus. Right. Like, that did not happen. Sure. I don't know if that's true. I have no idea either. I'm just agreeing with you because it sounds good. It makes my point. <laughs> there wasn't even a bus. It was a taxi. <laughs> it turns out Rosa Parks was actually the fucking riveter this whole time. <laughs> Ro Ro uh, Rosie? Rosa? Just, you think that's a coincidence? It shall be unlawful for any amateur white baseball team to play baseball on any vacant lot or a baseball diamond within two blocks of a playground devoted to the Negro race. And it shall be unlawful for any amateur colored baseball team to play baseball in a vacant lot or a baseball diamond within two blocks of any playground devoted to the white race. So they that knew, would make sense to me. Yeah, they knew from the beginning. If we let these people in sports, we're fucked. Right. <laughs> like I want them out of. I, I don't want. I want them out of line of sight. I don't want to right. be able to see how good they are. <laughs> right. Two blocks. They got to stay back at least two fucking blocks. <laughs> Can't let them in at all. No sports for you. Okay. Oh, that was it? Well, no, there's like, there's fucking pages and pages and pages. That's crazy. I, I honestly did not know that it was like that, that that's what Jim Crow laws were. I just thought it was, I thought Jim Crow was a black guy that, like raped a white woman or something and they <laughs> they strangled him because of it and then it turned out he didn't do it or so, <laughs> I don't know. I had no fucking clue. In 1909, in 1909, they made a law that said an institution for the education of colored deaf mutes was to be established, but segregation in the school was still to be enforced. <laughs> so, so when they when they brought in the fucking uh, the Marines or whatever, and they made the the schools take the black kids, remember that? Yeah, that was Alabama, right? I think so. Was it Alabama? Yeah, it was one of those states. One oh, of those. No, states. it was Ohio. No, what? Well, I think Oklahoma. it was <laughs> Texas. It was Texas. <laughs> so, what do you think that that was the right move? Like, okay, schools are segregated. And then certain schools said, nah, do you think the right move was to force black kids by gunpoint to go to certain schools? So that's not how it happened. In my mind. <laughs> it is. So I believe what happened is it was, that's when all these Jim Crow laws went away when the civil rights act and all that shit came about sure. and, and negated all of these pardon yeah. my use of the N word there. And, <laughs> uh -huh. So it became legal for blacks to go to school with whites. Right. And those black people that decided they were going to like, all right, I'll fucking risk it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think that was the right, the right move. Really? Like, so what else should we like, is there something else that you would say? Yeah, we should definitely bring in the military to enforce this particular law. That's right, what, that's now, what I'd say, I, right now, I think it would be just as much the right move to force segregation in, by using the military. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> We're going to get the blacks out of the schools. <laughs> Everybody get to the back of the fucking bus. <laughs> <laughs> what? Awesome. I don't, I don't have the same opinion that you have about the use of our military. I think we should use it all the time. Really? Like, I, I, 
I think they should have an aircraft carrier go down the Mississippi and patrol. I, I would be good with that. <laughs> patrol for what? Illegals? <laughs> Crossing the Mississippi? <laughs> Anything. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I, they're, you're not, they're not supposed to use our, our army against us. Right. But if it stopped the killing in the streets, then I would be all for it. What if it stopped 9-11? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we would have lost a lot of material. <laughs> I just saw something the other day that said uh, Hawaii is thinking about implementing a $25 tourist tax to help pay for that fire that burned a bunch of poor people houses. Well, that's perfect. Is it? Well, I don't know. How do you pay it? That's what I mean. I, I don't know the answer to that. I know no details. But the first thing I thought was, so Hawaii is a part of the United States. Does that mean that any state can do that now? Like, is Iowa now a tourist spot? When you cross from one state into another, do you pay 25 bucks when you to come in? One, uh, you could have a $25 rebate in Iowa and people still wouldn't <laughs> fucking go there. Here, $25 and a bucket of corn. <laughs> I don't, I guess I don't see how that's legal. I thought there was supposed to be like free to travel between states. Right. That was my point. Yeah. That's or is, right. or that's is that the just, I is that just ID? Because how, how is it different than having a toll road? Well, I guess because you don't have to take the toll road. Right. And the toll road isn't owned by the government. Not, right. I mean, sometimes. Are they? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I just know that that's the toll road is to, maintain the road which if i could make my road a toll road and they maintained it i would do that in a heartbeat like the road that i live on yeah i'll I'll pay 25 cents to drive down my road every single time yes just okay, maintain how, my fucking road so then how do you feel about this let's say that illinois was to create a create a law that said that in order to enter the state you had to pay a hundred dollars uh -huh. unless you had a government ID, then you can pass freely. Yeah. Wait a minute. So anybody that comes into the state? Yes. Every time. Every, every time. But everybody yeah, just, has a government ID. I, I don't think that's true. Well, then, yeah, then I'm on board then. Because you're just talking about illegals. You're just talking okay. about Mexicans, right? So then do you think that there should be IDs for voting? Oh, fuck yes. Absolutely. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that... <laughs> you Walk got right me. into my trap. <laughs> Damn it, you got me. Can you give me a, a, a reason why there shouldn't be? Why? What's the argument against voting with like requiring an ID to vote? I don't have one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aha, yourself. Aha. Isn't it uh unconstitutional? Why? Cuz the where in the constitution does it say that you need a government ID to vote? I don't Article 14? <laughs> uh, hold on, I'll look it up. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't think that's how the constitution works, right? Okay, so let's say we know that a cop can't ask you for a form of ID unless you especially are suspected if of a, a crime. Especially if you're a sovereign citizen. <laughs> <laughs> unless you are suspected of a crime. Mm -hmm. right? I didn't know that, but okay. Yeah, but how do you mean you didn't know that? They walk up and ask you for your ID all the time. When is the last time anybody's ever asked you to see your ID? License and registration, please. That's that's for a traffic stop. Yeah, traffic stop. So every traffic stop, they're like, they think I committed a crime. Innocent until proven guilty. Okay, we're just going <laughs> to ramble. <laughs> You're going to yell at random things. Got it. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Okay, so they can't ask you for an ID unless they suspect that you committed if a crime. If you're walking down the street, a cop cannot come up and ask you for your ID. Or he can, but you don't have to give it to him. Okay. But then isn't that in and of itself a crime? And then he can say, 
Ha! Ah, no. You walked into the trap. Now you have to give me your ID because I suspect no. you of a crime. You have to ask him what 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 crime he suspects you of committing. Yeah. And if he says that there was a report and you match, uh, you match what the suspect was wearing. That's that's not so, enough. So basically, all that has to happen is the cop just have, has to be able to lie on his feet, like quickly, like come up with a lie. And there's nothing you can do to you know what I mean. I just said that's not enough. That that's not enough to get an ID. No, then what is what I mean? How what is? I have to suspect you of a crime that's in the law. How can you like define what it means for me to suspect? What you law of a do crime? you suspect me of breaking? The the robbery that just happened. But what proof? What what do you have that you what do you have on me that you were suspecting me of the crime? They they just saw a robber wearing exactly what you're wearing, running away from the scene, the direction that you're going, and you are out of breath like you just were running away from something. If you look at me, you can tell I'm always out of breath. <laughs> so now you're argue you're on the street arguing with a cop and about yes. whether or not to show your ID and you think you're going to win this, right? Like do you think there's any way that you walk away from this? 100% you're giving people bad advice here. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm giving people constitutional advice. You of bad, all people. Bad advice. Oh, fuck. You don't, you, okay, you, think you fucking bootlicker. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know me. So, no, you're just wrong. I mean. I'm not. You're You're right, but you're wrong. If you're the kind of guy who a cop walks up to you and says, hey, whatever, like the cop's cool, not being an asshole, not being a dickhead, just asks you for your ID because of this, 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 whatever. And you're like, fuck you, copper. I don't have to show you. You think that you're in the right. You're just an asshole at that point. OK, one, and, and you're, I, 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 don't, I don't know how you went from A to B like you always do. But all of a sudden I started using the word copper in this conversation. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck you, pig. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> okay. And okay. Anyways. And in your mind, yeah, you're driving down the road, and you pull up next to a cop, and you're like, "Hey, you can search my car. I don't care." <laughs> no, I'll start searching it for him. I'll start pulling <laughs> my shit out, and, he, and the lights turns green, and he just drives away. <laughs> I got all my shit on the side of the road. <laughs> You run out and start sniffing your tires. I, I hit. I hit. <laughs> so, wait, what was the point of what you're saying? <laughs> so, you know, you don't have to give them your ID. Where were you going with that? I don't fucking remember. That was like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I know. I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about. I think we were getting ready to guess the race. <laughs> Black. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you were you were trying to make a point, and I I fucked you up by sidetracking you. Yeah, I don't. I I have no idea what I was talking about. Oh, damn it! It was interesting. I think. Do you remember what we were even talking about? I have no idea. Like I have nothing. <laughs> There's nothing there. Nothing in your brain. Oh shit! Huh? So you said you had to guess the race. I do. I gotta, I gotta pull it up. Father shoots baby with can of mace. Are they black or some other race? Uh, mom charged in death of son ten, whose body was discovered in garbage can seven months after he died. <clears throat> All right. Uh, is it the Brickyard Five Hundred? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mom, garbage can. Okay, so black people have garbage cans too. Wait. Hmm. Is the dad mentioned in the story? Nope. Okay. Is there a trailer mentioned in the story? No. What? State, uh, Illinois. Mm. <laughs> Does that help you at all? No. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Is the mom fat? No, no. I mean, from the headshot, it doesn't really look like it. No. White. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Okay. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the kid. <laughs> so apparently this, this, this little black boy shot himself because he was playing with the gun, the family gun. <laughs> he shot himself, died. And the mom and the sisters stuffed him in a garbage can in the garage and sealed it and just left him there. (laughs) And then somebody called child family services because the mom, one of the neighbors, the mom was making statements about how Christmas wasn't going to be the same this year without her son. And, but she couldn't say where he was. And and like, he just was gone. (laughs) Damn it. All right, let's. I got one for you. All right. Fuck. Like, <laughs> it, it, I, I'm doing this one straight, right? So uh-huh. I can tell you, I promise you, this one is not a car race. All right. Woman arrested after social media post shows five year old daughter waxing older clients. Well, okay. Oh, that's the headline. Mm-hmm. Okay, so and I, I want to say I want, I want to thank Shaq Toast for sending this in. Okay, my first. This isn't my final guess, but my first. I have to talk this through. My first inclination would be Asian, of course. Okay, but do I get any more information? You have to ask questions. Okay. Is the person that the kid was waxing a guy or a girl? A woman. Okay. Is the mom black? (laughs) 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 It's all right. So, uh, fuck. Read the headline one more time. Just so I. Woman arrested after social media post shows five-year-old daughter waxing older clients. Okay, that's what I was... I I couldn't remember if you said daughter or kid. So, five-year-old daughter waxing an older woman. And there there is something to take away. I'm not going to... I don't. I'm not trying to lead you anywhere, but I'll tell sure. you there's there's something in the headline that should make you go down a path. Uh, fuck it, I'll help you out. Okay. What race? Tra- if somebody was to be posting a bunch of shit on social media, yeah, would you guess that there's a, a race that does that more often than than others? White. Yes. I didn't say that. No, no. I that would be my answer. Yes. The reported images were uploaded to the mother's Instagram account, which she used to promote her hair removal service. Oh, okay, black. I'm going with black. <laughs> what? Uh, hair removal service. No. Is it one of those eyebrow threading services? Is that what it? Uh, God, this oh. is hard. Police say three images posted by her show the young girl applying hot wax to the nude pubic area of adults. Awesome. Huh. It, but she's teaching her kid a craft, right? Wax, <laughs> wax those pussies. pussies. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I, I feel like you're trying to throw me off. I know you're not. I know you're not, but God, because my gut just says Asian, but I'm going with white. I I'm, I have to go with white. Final answer? Yes. Black. Ah, <laughs> damn it. So I, I knew that I was going to get you with this one. And let me tell you my thought process. All right. I knew the waxing thing. You are automatically going to think Asian. Yes. And then when I said the thing about social media, that's going to direct you to white. Yes. Thinking that I'm trying to direct you away from Asia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what that, that's exactly right. Yes. <laughs> Nowhere in my mind was it like black. And then you're like hair removal. And then I was like, oh, that's got to be Asian. Oh, fuck. 
fucked me up on that one. But I think I have another one. But isn't that just okay? Is there anything sexual about waxing your vagina? At, like in the moment, I understand there's something you're doing it possibly for sexual reasons, so your husband likes it or whatever. But like, is there anything inherently sexual about just waxing someone's vagina? Would you let your daughter Fuck shave? My- no. <laughs> okay. Fuck no. Doesn't that answer the question? No, but it's different. Like, okay, if my daughter was waxing your fucking cock and balls, she has to pick up your cock and move it to one side. <laughs> That's different. Well, she don't have much- a bad back, does she? <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> okay, can we go just one episode without talking about your kids touching my dick, please? Please? <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're both asking the same question here. <laughs> All right, you want to try one more? Yeah. Dad beat daughter, then ate fast food and did drugs as she died <laughs> in the back seat of her car. Or back seat of car. In the back seat of the car. <laughs> the the drugs makes me think white. <sighs> Any more details? You, I can't just give them to you. Okay. Uh, what kind of car? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you... I, I'll read a sentence from this, uh, and you're going to have to figure out, is he trying to fuck with me? <laughs> if it's a Cadillac Escalade, I know you're <laughs> trying to fuck with me. <laughs> okay. This person, a 33-year-old violent violent felon and drug addict, had somehow been awarded custody of the five-year-old girl after his release from prison, even as her brother's adoptive parents were actively trying to add her to their family. While collecting welfare on her behalf, he lived out of a car with his now estranged wife, whom he is also accused of beating and continuing to use drugs. Okay. White, white has to be white. There, there's no way that a a judge is going to give a black man custody of a five year old. <laughs> You're right. I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> the, white. I'm, I'm going with white. No, I said you're right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sweet. It it just amazes me that. Like your reading comprehension is horrible, uh-huh. but your listening comprehension, like it's you key in on one or two things and it takes you right to the right spot. Like uh-huh. I didn't say anything about the judge and you're, there's no judge that's going to give custody. <laughs> yeah. But see, he says somehow he won custody. So somebody gave him custody. And I thought for sure when I said that he was collecting welfare that you were all oh, black, that's easy. <laughs> yeah. No, every once in a while, white people collect welfare. It's, it's rare, but it happens. <laughs> See, I should have just quit while I was ahead. I thought I was going to get you twice. Mm-hmm. That was a good one, though. The first one was actually hard. You really tricked me with that Asian one. <laughs> <laughs> I think this All is a right. good segment. <laughs> Just how good are we at stereotypes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about this? Toronto man gets prison for tricking men into anonymous sex through hole in the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Okay. Do you think you could be tricked into anonymous sex through a hole in a sheet? Is a sheet enough, like a sheet of drywall or a sheet sheet? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, there's. <sighs> okay. If there, it depends. Is the sheet hanging from the ceiling and there's just a hole in it with a hole on the other side? Yeah. I mean, you, you have to know that if there, okay, if there's a sheet hanging from the ceiling and then there's a hole just Uh at the right height for your dick and you're able to put your dick in there and feel something squishy, it has to be an asshole. It can't be a pussy. Why? Because you would have at least some of the butt cheek. 
<laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> Didn't think about that. <laughs> so, so huh. I was, I didn't think the sheet was suspended from the ceiling. I thought like this guy threw a sheet over himself <laughs> with a hole in it, or he threw a sheet over you with a hole in it. I don't know. I don't know why I thought that. Cause that doesn't make any sense at all. Let me throw this <laughs> sheet over you, put your dick through the hole. <laughs> How do you, how do you logistically, how do you make that happen without talking to somebody without them knowing? On two separate occasions in 2020, Tony Safir tricked two men into believing they were talking to a woman online and invited them over to his Toronto home to have anonymous sex through a hole in a sheet hanging in a doorway. Uh, the ruse came to an end when the second man pulled the sheet down to find Safir cowering on the ground in a black wig. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it probably awesome. is like a glory hole not fucking not yeah. fucking him in the butt if but that just happened the second time the first guy didn't pull down the sheet the second the first guy just oh, came I, and then left why why would you pull down the sheet why would you want the answer to that question yeah i mean i think the answer you already knew the answer in your heart <laughs> you you already knew the answer you don't want to see it for yourself Huh. So, okay. Do you think this guy deserves prison time? I do. For what? Uh, improper use of a mouth. I don't know what their law would be. <laughs> huh. <laughs> improper use of a mouth. He needs to circumcise them lips. <laughs> As instructed, the victims walked into the home and put their penises inside a hole in a sheet hanging in a doorway. Oral sex was performed, and then it was, and then it became penetration without warning. <laughs> without warning, <laughs> which both victims believed was anal. Their identities were covered by standard public. So he butt fucked them without them. <laughs> okay, isn't that rape? No, he he put his ass up there, right? That's still rape. If you don't get penetrated, how are you raped? So you're saying guys can't be raped. You're saying a woman can't rape a guy? Yeah, if she's wearing a strap on. Uh, somebody, uh, uh, I know you don't believe that. I'm not even going down that road. You don't believe it. What are you? What are you talking? You don't get to tell me what I believe. Now I believe it even more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if 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 you are tied up, yeah. Okay, I'm. I tie you up. And then I put Vi I give you Viagra, get your dick hard, and then uh, bounce around on top of you. <laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> you're you're telling me that you wouldn't you would you would just like, well, I wasn't raped. Thank God I wasn't raped. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you're going to jail for drugging me. And I think drugging with Viagra should be carry the same charge as rape. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get out of it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right. I tie you down. I tie uh, you up. Uh, and I start messing with your dick. And then I, but I have a sheet over me. And <laughs> yeah, where my lips are, I put like lipstick on it. So you think it's a woman. <laughs> I am that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> huh. The method, the method he used of the glory hole, using a wig, telling the victims they had to be quiet so he wouldn't have to speak to them, all helped to maintain the illusion that he created in his communications that the victims were engaging with a woman. The two victims now question their judgment and feel self-doubt and guilt. <laughs> <laughs> self-doubt and guilt and a little bit of retardation. You got to carry that shame with you for the rest of your life. But I also think that what okay, whatever this person got, I think is the appropriate sentence. I think really? it was a couple years. Huh. But I think that that's the same sentence that somebody should get if they have sex with somebody before telling them that they're trans. I think it, I think it should be treated exactly the same. Really? So okay, do you think it should be treated the same if you're a man that transitions into a woman so you get like one of those rat pockets installed do you think that if you don't tell somebody that's a crime but what if you're a woman who transitions into a man and you get the fucking where they stick the button gut in and pull it out you know what i mean now you got your fucking intestines as a dick 
What? And, and you I don't want anybody's with- intestines inside of me. <laughs> but do you think that the crime should be? I mean, yes. Okay. I, I, uh, it's no different than this. If you're pretending, if he identified as a woman, uh-huh. it's the same thing in my mind. It's the it's exa- exact same scenario. Is it worse if you blow a a dude that used to be a chick and you're sucking on his intestines? Is that <laughs> yes, worse? That's worse. <laughs> Is that worse? <laughs> Would you rather have my intestines up your ass or in your mouth? Okay. Okay. No, it's not worse, and it's not gay. Wait. Why? Explain yourself. (laughs) Because it's just forearm meat, and there's nothing gay about one man putting his lips on another man's forearm. (laughs) No, they use colon. No, they use forearm. I've seen it. They use a mixture of colon and forearm. (laughs) <laughs> I'll just kiss the forearm part. <laughs> yeah, make my forearm come. Let's go. <laughs> Use forearm. Huh. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like if you're, st- I think if you're stupid enough to fall for something like that, it shouldn't be a crime. I don't know. The crime maybe should be taking advantage of somebody who's stupid. That should be a crime, maybe. I don't know. All right. It, I don't. I don't. I just don't know how I feel about that because, like, I don't believe that either one of these people didn't know. I think what happened was the guy maybe accidentally pulled down the sheet, and once he like saw it, he knew in advance. But once he saw it he got so enraged that that's where the problem came in. And then it, it turned into a problem. But if he wouldn't like, he knew, I, I guarantee you, he knew the whole time. And so did the first guy, you know, you're fucking a dude. You just don't want to, to see it. Do you understand what I'm getting at? I don't see it's the crime. You, you, I don't know. So you don't think it should be a crime to misrepresent yourself. Fuck no. I think people misrepresent themselves every single day. I misrepresent myself fucking 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's all I do is misrepresent myself. Then you should be a, uh, treated the same as a trans. <laughs> Going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Misrepresentation. That That's part of the human condition is misrepresenting yourself. Bullshit. Yeah. I don't ever misrepresent myself. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Don't you think it's probably a good idea to start the show? Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Wake up. Da, 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 da. Wake up. Table. We had a We had a sign. Boom. I'm right. You're right. Everybody come along. There's no one over This is Who's Right Tonight, coming at you with breaking news. Arizona Bay is currently flooding with candy. Two entrepreneurial men have taken it upon themselves to sell the candy at ArizonaBayCandy.com. Now for your headlines from last week's Who's Right podcast. Is a gas station hottie giving you the bedroom eyes? It might be time to blow your nose. An officer in Florida unintentionally created the best video ever. Doug stumps Anthony with this week's installment of Guess the Race. The answer was the Coca-Cola 600. Anthony's daughter does not get peanuts in her locker, if you know what I mean. Rounding out your headlines, Anthony tampers with Doug's evidence. After that, the boys decided to finally start the show with super chats and phone calls. Keep up with the show at whosrightpodcast.com. Now, if you'll excuse me, an incredibly handsome sounding man called me and told me my car is blocking him in. Hopefully I'm back in time for the Who's Right podcast. I would like to start the show by premiering Cardiff's commercial for ArizonaBayCandy.com. All right. Perfect. Ready? Ready. So I want to say thank you, Cardiff Electric, for sending this over. Yes. ArizonaBayCandy.com. It's better than yeah. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> That's our stinger. 
Oh, that was good. All right. Now I got to jump over to Super Chat Sounds. All right. Thank you, everybody, for Super Chats. You ready? Yes. Ooh, I'm going to have them dogs suck on my titties. (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) Tom, Tom the Tree Man. So I'm the tree man, Billy Taylor, Crawfather, Ulysses, Gaming Machine 8, Kevin Curley. Thank you, Kevin Curley. And thank you. Tom Curley. is such a, like, you can really tell, like, on our bonus episode last night, how nice yeah. of a guy Tom is. Yes. Like, too, he's entirely yes. too nice. Yes. I, it's crazy to me that he listens to our show because he is genuinely, like, down to the core of his person, a nice guy. I don't <laughs> get it. Ooh, I'm going to have gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> like they're 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 having the doctors <laughs> make recommendations for them to kill themselves. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah, Tom the Tree Man, Duchess of New Jersey. Thank you, Kevin Curl. Thank you, Tom the Tree Man. Any babies that BTK doesn't want, I was going to sell to the pedophiles. <laughs> Matt Rat. Absolutely, Dork. Absolutely, Dork. Absolutely, Dork. Thank you, Matt Rat. <laughs> Super. Super. Gaming Machine 8. Kevin Black Curly. <laughs> Thank you, Gaming Machine 8. Da 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 do da 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 do da da do da. I haven't heard that one in a while. Gaming Machine 8. Tom, who went to tree to tree the trees school. <laughs> Thank you, Gaming Machine 8. Thank you, Gaming okay. Machine 8. <laughs> <laughs> Wowza, Shazammy Whammy. That was an awfully good joke. Mitch Smith. Win a date with Tad Hamilton. You should have called it win a date with Lindsay Hamilton. I was thinking I was going through all the PO box shit that we have. Yeah. And by the way, feel free to send more PO box stuff. <laughs> PO box addresses <laughs> on the website. Um, um, and we have all those copies of win a date with Ted yeah. Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of contemplating as giving one to each contestant. Oh, from last night, <laughs> like a party gift. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'd be pretty funny. Donut, donut, donut. Fat, fat, fat. <laughs> Mitch Smith. Tom's trees went to school trees at tree school. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Curley. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch Smith. I think that's his real name, Mitch Smith. It's hard to say. No, no, no. Who's right? Podcast. Banda con barra Patreon. Arriba, arriba. Thank you, Fatty. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> Frank, Frank D. Bartolo. The Vince McMahon allegations have ruined my life. It controls my new f- news feed. Right, Doug? Anthony? Absolutely, Frank. <laughs> does, it, does, it, does it control your news feed? It does. 100%. Really? He That's 100% crazy. Correct. I have not heard anything about it since we talked about it. And even before that, I didn't hear anything about it. <laughs> I would love to... So what what do you use? For, Twitter? Yeah. I I would love for us to just put our Twitter feeds up side by side and just scroll and see how oh. much different it is. Oh. It's, yeah, it's different. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I I have I'm gonna say no titties. Like I don't I don't follow any of that shit. No, I mean either. But it's either stuttering John shit. Because I follow all the people that oh. are tracking the air in that world. Yeah. Or it's wrestling or it's black people stomping on white people's heads. That's all my Twitter is. My my whole Twitter feed is like uh like super long, long, long threads about trans people. <laughs> it's all it's all <laughs> just like long or Sam Harris. Like fucking I don't understand why Sam Harris gets in there, but it, according to my Twitter feed, there are no trans people. <laughs> according to my Twitter feed, 
There are nothing but trans people. <laughs> Weird. I hope you're visiting who's right podcast.com slash Patreon. Dippy sauce. Tom's trees went to two school trees at tree school. <laughs> God, these are getting harder to read. <laughs> Keep it up. Just see how fucked up you can get Anthony's tongue. Right. Oh, fuck yeah, more money. D- Dippy sauce. Win a date with Tad Hamilton. Yes. I still haven't even watched that. We should, we should do a watch along. We say that like every four months. Uh, Gaming Machine 8. My wife, stripper Amber, says, Doug looks like a bottle of ketchup. Anthony, nice flannel. Really makes you look like an office worker. That's what I was going for. Thanks, stripper Amber. <laughs> Fuck you, stripper Amber, you whore. <laughs> you dirty fucking crusty whore. <laughs> Unless you were sexually attracted to ketchup bottles, then I take it back. <laughs> Bong. Gaming machine eight. Dork. What? Dork. What? Dork. All right. Dork. Kevin Curley. New episodes of We Are Douchebags every Wednesday. Cation Ortiz, obligatory $2 whore donation of the week. You spelled whore wrong. So that's Amber's then. (laughs) Thank you, Amber. Thank you, stripper Amber. No, that's two Amber. Oh, that's two Amber. $2 donation to Amber. His name is the one thing. Doug don't know why. It doesn't really matter how hard he tries. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to explain in due time that Doug is fat in spite of the way that he's dieting. I think like he is built like the liver king. Remembering all the times he was supposed to be fasting. I'm surprised he's still so big. <laughs> that sounds like it took a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Curley, Tom, who went to school for trees, almost got that ass slow boy. Shake my head, poop scoop, everyone be one. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate you, homie. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Curley. <laughs> Love my mama. You got a super chat. <laughs> I'll leave the jelly beaner. Hey, Andre, 3,000 pounds. I just got hired for my first factory job at a meat plant named after a boxer with a lisp. Any advice? Thanks, overfed (laughs) Zeppelin. (laughs) That's pretty funny. I think I want to hire Ollie as a writer for the show. I think so, too. I've always liked Ollie. He's a funny guy. Yeah, get a different fucking job. Working Working at Tyson fucking blows. (laughs) <laughs> right but you're mexican so i i mean yeah i mean you I, might I, like it I, I figured they had a slot already assigned to you when you came out <laughs> it's another sexy super chat for the who's right podcast unseen reaper three here's two dollars give anthony a penny Keep the rest. Done and done. Thank you, <laughs> Unseen Reaper 3. <laughs> done and done. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Chef Adam. Fish and chips or shepherd's pie? Do you think Adam's really a chef or can anybody just call themselves that? I would say that he is a chef. Okay. And I would say fish and chips or neither. Fish and chips is like British for fish and fries, right? Right. But I would just eat the fries and get rid of the fish. Fish is No, gross. it's it's fried. They fry they fry the fi- fried fish is good. No. It's like mostly batter. Unless it's okay, Long John Silvers then I it's it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, fish and chips is British for Long John Silvers. <laughs> <laughs> What's shepherd's pie? It uh, just sounds great. It sounds like beans. I don't know. I, I don't want any I, part of it. It's, I think it's some kind of casserole where they just throw a bunch of stuff and then they put the stuff like potatoes on top and it, it like bakes into like a crust. 
like a pot pie. Yeah, kind of, but but no, nothing on the bottom. I don't think. No pot. Just, yeah, pie. no pie. Just pie. It's like pie on the top. Shepherd's pie or cottage pie is a savory dish of cooked minced minced meat topped with mashed potato and baked. Formerly also. Oh, then I'm going with that. I like ma- I like mashed potatoes and meat. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot I'm, better than Long John Silver's. Uh, I don't know. Long John Silver's is pretty good. Pretty high quality. It's a goddamn super, super chat. chat. Kevin Curley, Philip One Lan. Is it? Can we shadow ban him again? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. You don't need to. Okay. I'm going to give you a piece of advice. All right. You don't need to understand. You just need uh, to say thank you, Kevin. Thank Kevin. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin Curley. Like, I, who knows how much random shit he's got bounced around in his head that he needs to get out, but... <laughs> Apparently all of it. <laughs> Kevin Curley. Kevin Curley. Kevin Curley. <laughs> the family gun. Lol. <laughs> Thanks, I, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Thank you. <laughs> You're so fucking retarded. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kevin Curley. Chinese. Chinese. You're right, Kevin. Chinese. It is Chinese. I agree. Chinese all the way. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> How insightful. <sighs> oh, fuck. All right, Lord. I'll go over here, I guess. <laughs> you can you can freely take me inside you whenever you want. <laughs> Kevin Curley, Michael Jackson, it's not dead. His friends say must suck for the doctor who killed his. I know. So, Kevin, I was thinking the same fucking thing. I I was just sitting here thinking, Michael Jackson, it's not dead. His friends say must suck for the doctor who killed his. I I mean, I said that to Anthony right before we started the show. Yeah, yeah, he did. It's true. (laughs) Oh, yeah, it's true. (laughs) Thanks, Kevin Curley. Thank you, Kevin. (laughs) How much would it take for you to let a dog fuck you in the ass? 16 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Dippy sauce. I doxed myself. Like right here? I don't, I don't think so. Sorry, Dippy sauce. Thank you. Thank you, Dippy sauce. I want to <laughs> fuck goldfish. <laughs> I don't want you to misunderstand me. <laughs> so do you want to fuck it through its mouth hole or do or you want to... I want to do the guts first uh, and then put it in its mouth hole just to fucking degrade that fucking fish. <laughs> you taste your fucking stomach, you stupid fish. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> You're too good to look at me. Look at me. Look at me when I fuck you. What? What the fuck, dude? I don't remember any of that. <laughs> Sick nasty. I want to see the Dorg make some high yoga tutorials. Me too. How awesome would that be? Just in your tidy whities <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let me ask you this. Like, so I'm I'm back to wanting to quit my job again. Okay. Okay. But I need money. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. So if I quit my job, started an OnlyFans, and did hot yoga on my OnlyFans. Yeah. Would would you still talk to me? Do I get half the money? No. Probably, yeah. <laughs> All right. Even if you would have said yes, I probably would have said yes still. <laughs> that that answer didn't really matter. It was just <laughs> just trying to squeeze some money out of my yeah. desperation. Yeah. How do I get half the money? Can I manage uh, your OnlyFans? Can I you be do your have pimp? To, you do half the yoga. <laughs> okay. Can we start a yoga OnlyFans? As long yep. as I never have to watch your content. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to do yours. I'm going to be the instructor. So you have to, uh, I'm going to stand in front of you. <laughs> we're going to edit these videos together where it looks like we're doing yoga next to each other. <laughs> All right. We got one more. Let's get this done. Will you two quit goober smooching? You got a super chat. Andrew Big White. Hello. Hi, Andrew Big White. 
I'm Anthony Small Black. Hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, ho, ho, give Doug his job back. Hey, hey, ho, ho, give Doug his job back. Hey, hey. That's not as good as the nugget one. Chef Adam, shepherd's pie or toad in the hole? UK chef. Now I got to look up what toad in the hole is. Oh, some kind of sex move. <laughs> oh, yeah, then I'm going with that. <laughs> it's toad like a rusty in... trombone. Oh, that looks delicious. Toad in the hole or sausage toad is traditional English dish consisting of sausages in Yorkshire pudding batter. Oh, fucking gross. I mean, Usually ser- served with onion gravy and vegetables. Historically, the dish has also been prepared using other meats. I mean, I don't yeah. want, I don't want pudding. I, I do. Yeah, I'm in. Is it like I'm butterscotch out. pudding? Butterscotch pudding with sausage <laughs> and onion gravy on top. <laughs> if Anthony loved his kids as much as he loved his fucking synthesizer, we wouldn't be in this mess. Kevin Curley, how do you keep your head bald, Baldy? It just happens naturally, Kevin. Thanks for noticing, though. Razor. (laughs) You big dummy, how else would you do it? (laughs) What kind of fucking question is that? (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) Uh, Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. We appreciate them. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, fuck. Okay, so now we have to hurry up and try to make some phone calls. Yeah, I, I do need to talk to you, so we're going to have to cut it a little short before you run out of here. Okay. All oh, right. is, that, is that bad? Am I in trouble? No, you'll be fine. <laughs> like, I was tired before. Now... now you want to go to sleep? Yes. That's, I mean, that's doing what it's supposed to, right? Yes. Brandon, come on, answer the phone. All right, Brandon, you said you were a wandering soul. Um, Please leave your message. No, <laughs> no we're not doing that. Maybe we'll get lucky and nobody will answer. <laughs> All right, Nick. Nick says he is at odds with people at work. Oh, boy. That's never good. Please leave your message for... No. Nick. Sorry. Try again next time. (laughs) You should have just hung up after sorry. Nick, sorry. (laughs) Move your car. (laughs) Yep. Uh, That's what I'm going to start leaving for messages now. All right. We're going to get lucky, I think. We're going to make it through all three of these. Yes. All right. This is Noah. Noah F. Don't answer. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No whammies. Fuck. Hello. How you doing, Noah? Hey. Hey. How's it going, buddy? You doing all right? What's up? Nothing. Are you cool? Everything cool? Yeah. All right. You got that shit for me? Uh, is, this Doug and, is this Doug and Tony? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Dorg and the Tone. Tone, <laughs> Tone <Loke. laughs> Can we be dork, 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 dork. Dork. What's that, Anthony? 
Can we be Dorg in the tone? I, I kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, man? You want, Did we wake you up? Uh, not much. Uh, no, I just woke up. Uh, all right, about fifteen minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, I woke up like fifteen minutes ago to call my girlfriend. She hot. And then you fuckers called. Why? Why do you gotta wake up to call her? So, Oh, because I took a nap. So you got to wake her up and let her know when you're awake? Oh, no. I just took a nap because she was doing something and uh, I'm like, you know, tired. A black guy? Was she doing a black guy? <laughs> no, she was eating yogurt with her mom. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, no, she went... <laughs> How old are you? She went, I'm 18. Uh, do you still live at home? Oh, uh, yeah. How old's your girlfriend? 17. Oh, you pedophile. You pedophile, pedophile. You sound like you've heard it before, baby raper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I am a baby raper. Uh, I didn't expect that as the answer. Okay. <laughs> no. Let's keep it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, <laughs> so why are you still in school? Uh, no, I dropped out for a semester of uh college. Dropped out for a semester, that you know, that means you're done, right? You're not going back, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not going back. What were you going <laughs> no, for? Well, okay, so I'm, I'm tra- uh, I was going for industrial maintenance, and then um, there's this like, a, like, like a janitor that I'm trying to get to. Industrial maintenance. No, it's not. A, it's like welding and uh, like you know stuff like that. Um, welding and all the other stuff. <laughs> no wonder well, you dropped like, out. You know, shit. And then like, yeah, so it was so boring. But um, I'm trying to get to like this plant, and they'll pretty much pay for my college if I go get at this plant. And they're hiring a lot of people now because all the old people are retiring out there. So you know, my dad knows a lot of people that work out there, and hopefully, like get out there and they'll pay for schooling and pay for me to go to school. So what's your girlfriend plan on doing once she gets old enough to drive? <laughs> you know, she just got her driver's license like a few weeks ago. So, you know, you must be so uh, proud. Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> did you get, did you get her a build a bear? <laughs> uh, no, a pacifier. <clears throat> huh? Okay. So where do, where do you live at? What part of the country? South Carolina. Oh, that explains so much. You should have just led with that. I would have, all the other shit would have just been a given. <laughs> yeah. Um, <sighs> I'm getting bullied. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bullied. <laughs> How'd you hear about the show? Uh, I started watching the official podcast, and uh, then you fuckers came along, and I've been. I've been listening to y'all for like what two years, three years. So uh, yeah, the important I'm, question like everyone is, else. The important question is: Did you watch last night's bonus yet, or listen to it? No, I'm so far behind on the bonus episodes. Okay, well, I am telling you. Oh, I guess I need to ask this first. Are you still a patron? Oh yeah. All right, so we can continue the conversation. <laughs> Go ahead and skip ahead and listen to last night's bonus episode. It'll be one of the funniest things you've ever heard. All right. We'll see. Um, is it a quadruple gangbanger? Uh, I, I was told today that it is a full-blown orgy. <laughs> okay. No, it's just I'm trying to catch up on the bonus episode, but like ugh, so many after-show chats with like Dave and uh, – <laughs> That was like four years ago. Like, Jesus Christ, hey, dude. Listen, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting from, you know, the ground level and working up. So, you know. You don't want to miss anything. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to miss anything, you know. <sighs> All right, man. Well, we appreciate you. Have you tried any candy yet? Actually, I have. Well, thank you very much. Did some, you- whoever runs the Instagram account was like, hey, buy candy, please. I'll get some commission. <laughs> I don't. That wasn't any oh, Anthony, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Not funny. 
Remember I, what I said. I, I don't want him doing anything that reflects badly on me. And then this fine patron here says, I don't know who's running the Instagram account, but he's like, please buy candy. That That's what I don't no, want. And you, hey, I've tried to get you to make me a puzzle for so long, and you just don't reply. I made you a puzzle. No, you did I'm, It's It's I not as high. He just hasn't sent it yet. It's, it's, I'll message you. I no, I sent it to I'll you. I'll message you and like, no, no, you have not. <laughs> It's I'll in the mail. You, like, hey, do you make puzzles? <laughs> I haven't even told you what I want. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so just ask me now. You you got me on the fucking phone right now. Okay, so ver- all right. <laughs> you ready? Such a dick. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ArizonaBayCandy.com. <laughs>